defense was kind of put in a bad spot there early, but how would you best describe your, how your guys played? Uh, you know, I, I told them after the game, I, I was proud of their effort. Uh, I thought they played hard the entire game. We have not once questioned the effort of this group as a whole since the moment we arrived here in January, last January. And, uh, you know, it's, it's our job, it's my job to make sure that we're trying to get them in the right place to be successful because they're giving us everything they have. And I've got to do a better job of hopefully uh, scheming them and, and making sure that they understand the scheme as well as I do. Uh, and simplifying it enough so that they can continue to play hard but execute a little better. Uh, Octavius played a bunch of the band in. I mean, was that just rewarding him from a good week? or? or what? Well, they had a bigger, uh, you know, obviously it was a different type of attack than we've been used to. Uh, it, it was a tight end oriented attack where they were really, you know, trying to hammer our band in position. And, uh, you know, when we're, you know, Jerry and Octavius, you know, Ox had a, a lot, a lot more reps than Jerry has. So, uh, you know, he played well when he was in there, and so we continued to go with him, figuring he's got more experience playing a tight end, and he was doing well when he was in there. Arkansas in their run game, were they trying to do the same thing? They're very similar. That's the, you know the benefit of us playing last week against Nebraska is if you can take a positive from last game is is. This team that we're going to play this week is very similar schematically. Uh, they, they want to pound the football. They want to run a power game. Uh, and so a lot of the things that happened to us, hopefully, like I said from the first week that we had, that you know we learned from our mistakes. That's part of, part of the building process of, of Coach Monken's team is that we build upon the foundation of every game. You, hopefully, we're going to learn from our mistakes and we continue to get better and grow as a football team. So I, I hope that we can use some of the mistakes and, and continue to grow and get better. Marius Miller, 14 tackles. I know you don't like to see a safety making that many tackles, but it seemed like he did make some plays when he was going Well, you know, with, with the type of scheme that we, we faced last week, you know, it was a tight end oriented scheme where we're asking those guys to, to you know, once they get certain blocks, you know, they trigger and, and fit the run. That's what a safety's supposed to do with the way that the scheme is designed. So, you know, the guys up front, you, you you know, everything's structured to either box, spill, or whatever, and ultimately it's going to come to somebody, whether it's a corner or whether it's a safety. So a lot of things ended up in uh, DeVaris's, you know, fits. Uh, Arkansas basically, you know, I know it's similar to maybe Nebraska, but is it essentially what they were doing in Wisconsin? Yeah, it's very similar. You know, uh, it's power. It's power football. You know, they're big, physical. Uh, their backs are going to run downhill, and we're going to have our hands full up front. You know, we've got to make sure that you know we don't get knocked off the football, and, and we got to make sure that you know our defensive backs understand exactly what their fits are. And uh, so it's probably going to be a very hopefully you know we learn and we get our fits the same way. And Debar has a bunch more tackles. That freshman running back, I know he was a pretty high profile recruit, but he's been pretty much as advertised. Would you say? Yeah, he's a physical black. Uh, Big physical, runs downhill. Uh, a little different than number eight from last week. You know, number eight was a, a little bit faster, a little bit quicker with his feet, but you know, he's going to run downhill on us. So uh, we've got to make sure we do a good job of of creating a small phone booth for our for our guys. You know, our safeties and be able to tackle in. Uh, you don't want to give him a lot of space because he's he's elusive enough that he can make you miss in space. Coach, last week Dylan Reed said he was confident that the defense could hold Nebraska under 100 yards rushing. Now, I mean, that didn't happen, but is that the mindset you have to have going into Nebraska? No doubt. That's our first premise. You have. We start with everything is we start defending the run, and we have to stop the run. If you if you can't stop the run, then you're in for a long day. Uh, so I, I honestly thought that we would do a better job of, of stopping the run. I did. Uh, I was very, That was disappointing to me that we didn't hold them to, to less rushing yards. Uh, a couple of them came from mistakes that I, you know, I blame that on myself that I didn't do a good enough job of, it, it, you know, explaining and exactly where guys are supposed to go and, and giving them confidence to fit where they're supposed to fit. Uh, so we're hopefully going to get that corrected this week and, you know, 
we'll get get back. And I hope again that we got to stop the run. We can't we can't give up that many rushing yards and win the football game. Uh, one thing I guess y'all did a pretty good job of containing Martinez as far as running the ball. Is that one positive? That was a big thing because you know I, I, going into the game plan, uh, Patrick is I thought that. Uh, you know, we had. I, I thought we were going to be successful stopping the run, and then on third down, the one thing that you see on third down that, that they've been successful in keeping drives going was, you know, they would have them covered, and then Martinez would run with the football, uh, you know, and get the first down on third down, and so that was a big part of our plan was, you know, stopping the run and then not allowing him to scramble on third down. And I thought they did. We did a pretty good job of keeping him bottled up for a yardage on third down. Is, is Rita going to be able to play? Right now, it's it's, un, it's uncertain. You know, we're still waiting for the report to come back. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm hoping he's going to make it. Asked Coach Munkin earlier uh, about the mindset of the team, how they're looking at the losses, uh, either 0 and 14 or 0 and 2. Um, how do you personally look at it, and what other players, uh, what are they said, uh, their mindset about this team? You know, I, <clears throat> you know like. A, I, I, we talk, you know, Coach Munkin talks about is, you know, you can't, it, as with the moment that we arrived, we weren't, or we, we're not, re how do I phrase this? <clears throat> we're not looking backwards. You can't turn back the hands of time. You can only look forward. You can learn from your mistakes, and that's what we're working on right now is, is not worrying about 0 and 2 or 0 and 14. Is we talked about even when we were down big into Nebraska, is one, we can't control the things that have happened in the past. The only thing we can control is the very next snap. And this group, I promise you, has been tremendous about bouncing back and being positive. And so I expect nothing less than you know a great practice on Tuesday because you know they're focused, they're determined, you know they're, they're working hard. And I hope you know we're going to take it one snap at a time, one game at a time, that to get better. Uh, Miller put up pretty good numbers. Was there anybody else that you kind of saw on film that get his responsibility and maybe you know, play well? I'm sorry. Anybody that? say beyond Demarius Miller who kind of played well on defense for you on Saturday? Well, you know, Kalen Reed. You know, you know, we emphasized a few things that you know when we get you know a tight end run fit on the backside, Kalen played really well and and really took the coaching pointers that we were making. You know, emphasis of you know from week one to week two, and and we got a lot of carryover from him. So I would say Kalen Reed really played pretty well uh, this week. Devaris obviously, uh, you know, and our guys up front. I, you know, I think that they're playing hard. You know, and Alan Howes continues to be the leader out there. Alan has really worked hard and taken leadership and getting everybody in the right place, communicating with everybody. You know, really been. A, a pretty important person to our defense. Uh, Reed is somebody that sees some, you know, I know you just got here and had him for last year, but it seems like he's somebody that's kind of made progress with each week, with each, you know, practice. Is he somebody that's a student of the game, you know, physically matured, but how would you best describe him? He's a bright player. Uh, he's He's got the physical traits to be a pretty good corner. He's big, he's strong, and it's important to him. If, if it's important to you, you're going to work at it to get better. And and I just left upstairs, and he was up there watching tape already. So he was one of the first players in you know today to watch film. So you can tell it's important to him, and that's why and it shows by his play.